There's cars coming through the fog, 50, 60 miles an hour. I mean, you, they couldn't see where, you couldn't see across three lanes, so you could just imagine what it, uh, they were just hurtling, and, and they go, you hear it go, meow, bump, meow, bump. And this would happen on a regular basis, 40 or 50 cars all smashed into one another. Somebody devised a wonderful scheme where we had two spotlights, orange spotlights, on a big black pole. Connected, because there was no electricity, connected to a car battery in a box beneath it. These were every mile, so that when the fog arrived, the police car on that section could switch a switch and switch these two flashing lights on. And then, people without a car battery would think, there's a lot of car batteries on the motorway. So we would then come to these signs in the emergency, perhaps they hadn't been on for three weeks, batteries all gone. Again, electronics come to man's aid and save time and effort. Motorway police have been armed with ray guns. They're harmless except for fog warning lights. We were a bit like cowboys then. We couldn't wait for the headquarters to say, can you switch all the fog signs on? Ho oh, oh, ho, get my gun out and away we go. A motorway cop shows how good a marksman he is on the move with the new Space Age lamplighter. Ready, aim, fire. Good shot. But we were even better than that. We got really good at it because if you could get this one on and swing round, you could get the one on on the other carriageway in one fell swoop and it was quite I got them all on this time and policemen go yes I got the lot and if somebody missed one oh and you had to reverse all the way back you know oh you're getting swap over and I'll put the lights on good shot along with radar guns the motorway police had faster cars than their colleagues on the A roads it's what you might call light work we had the Mark II Jaguar when I first went on the motorway then we altered to the Jaguar XJ6, that was an improvement. When they were being made, the factory knew which ones were ours. And we only knew that they knew which were our cars when we came to cut the headlining in the car to put the police signs on the top. And then we would find written in the top, all coppers are bastards. With no speed limit and no legal requirement to wear seatbelts, motorways became the scene of some of the most horrendous accidents. 